Greetings, discreet defenders. We are out on the range with the promised 327 Federal Magnum critical defense shooting test. And today I am going to breach protocol and shoot the gel first for, well, because reasons. I've got two loaded up in the LCR. And I've got a gel block showing 37.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 37.5, well, roughly within spec anyway. But the air temperature is about 60 out here, so I kind of want to hurry up with this before the sun rises. This week is as warm as last week was cold, but that's what happens at this time of year. Perfect centering, massive damage in the gel. Oh my, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna have room for a lot of tests of these, but that's okay. I don't wanna waste ammo in case I can never find any again. Uh, all right, lining this up with the end of the block. That first shot went a full 16 inches that 327 Federal Magnum ammo is really potent. I like it a lot. I like the feel of it a lot better than the 32 mag we did last week. All right, let me just get this in nice and low. And... Yes. Did successfully get it under. Did it... Yes, all right, perfect. All right, we have identical performance. Identical performance from those two shots. There's really not a reason to do a third one. They're all gonna be that same basic performance level. Unless there's a dud or some factory error. Yeah, no, both of those are, both of those have tumbled. Both of them have expanded. Although, again, as you so often see with critical defense, they have not expanded a great deal, but the penetration is absolutely flawless. Now I'm gonna line up and throw one of the 32 Magnums in there just to get a bit of a baseline on this and uh, be able to compare with some degree of um, authority, the relative merits. Okay, got the 32 Magnum in the LCR. Zoom back out. It's right next to the other one, but it's not sharing a hole. Boy, winds up right behind it. May have benefited a little bit from non-expansion. It definitely tumbled, but that 32 mag, wow, for the first time we have expansion failure from a 32 mag. So that's not a terribly fair comparison, but you can see it right there. And there are the, the, the 327s. I'm gonna line up and shoot one more of those 32 mags just to get the best possible comparison of what the performance is supposed to be like and try to get a completely unobstructed track all the way through. Those 327s take up so much room in the block, but if I turn it sideways, it won't matter. There, I think we'll do it like that and then like that and then we'll get yeah we'll put it through right here right to the right and we'll drop this back on top of here all right one more 32 magnum all right that's good that one also 
failed expansion. <laughs> I don't know why the 32s can't pass in this test. Obviously, the, um, the block is a little cooler and it's a little denser because it's a remelted block, but both of the 32 H&R Magnums that we've tested in this block so far this morning have failed expansion, whereas both of the 327 Federal Magnums have passed. Here's the case length comparison. Here's the 327 Federal Mags. Here's the 32 H&R mags. Here's my four layers of heavy 14 ounce denim. Just a ridiculous, ridiculously heavy barrier. But these blocks are uh, definitely much closer to FBI specs this morning. And that is probably why the 32s are not performing. They're probably just not able to get open under the rigorous test conditions we have today. But I'm gonna throw one more of those 32s into this block with bear gel. Gonna try to figure out if I can make them expand in today's admittedly tougher gel block. But yeah, should be able to do it right there. Angle it down a bit. Good, yep, that, so that one expanded, and as you can see, it's way back here. Way, 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 way back. The penetration on that one, to zoom in a bit, line it up perfectly here. Yeah, the, the penetration on that's just 11, the red tip is out at 11 and three quarters, just under the 12 inch specifications. That gives you an idea that this block is a, is a bit, that the block is a bit tougher today. The block is a little closer to specifications than on the previous occasion. All right, I'm gonna dig those 32s out of there. Those are the unexpanded 32 H&R mags. There is the bare gel shot, proper perfect textbook expansion, 32 Magnum. And these are the tw th the, uh, the, th the 327 Federal Magnums with some sickly looking expansion, possibly due to tumbling, possibly due to the rigors of today's four layer denim test with properly cooled, properly evaporated gel blocks. All right, so much for the gel test. Let's move on to the chronograph. I see the red sun rising. If I can pick that up, what, what color will it be? Ooh. Oh, the smoky haze out there from, uh, from way out west. Definitely visible this morning. That is all kinds of ugly. But we'll see if we can uh, if we can use such light as there is for a good uh, a good chronograph test. Get that set up, set up in a minute here. All right, set up to chrony. Now, why is there a baby? We are set up to chronograph some 327 Federal Magnum. And I will briefly share what those are supposed to be doing again. 1,275, no, 1,475 feet per second at the muzzle and we'll see what they get out of the short barrel Ruger. Now I've kind of gotten in the habit of shooting six out of the LCR just because I have that capacity 
But today, I'm just gonna do five because I am conscious of the ammo shortage in the world. 1285. 1282 1279 1283 very consistent shot to shot 5 shot average 1278 feet per second, 80 grain, critical defense from Hornady, clocking out just 200 feet per second slower, not even, 197 feet per second slower from the two inch barrel than they do from whatever test barrel, probably a four inch, that Hornady puts them through. That is a very consistent result. And given the gel test results, I would say this is a remarkable load. Maybe four stars, I, I give it four stars. The only thing it's really lacking in is the, uh, is the expansion. Once again, that has been the gel and chronograph test of the Hornady Critical Defense in 327 Federal Magnum. Thanks, folks. Dave out.